This is a screen dump of my Sajetara app and it shows that uh, on 10th of March I was one of the lucky ones who managed to register for the uh, first batch of COVID, COVID vaccines that was released to the public, about a quarter of a million. Uh, so today is my uh, vaccination date, the 16th of May, uh, for the first dose. So yesterday was very crowded at the vaccine center, parking was not so easy I was told. So, another good reason to bring your bike. So, that should be good and probably also good to get a bit of exercise anyway. So, this should be interesting. I look forward to getting the vaccine. Um, and interestingly, I'm living in Malaysia, uh, but my home country is Denmark. And um, it seems like, even though Denmark has bought a lot of vaccines and uh, probably five times as many as they need, um, I'm still getting vaccinated here in Malaysia before my peers in Denmark. I mean, people, people the same age as me. So, uh, and one of the reasons is that uh, there has been some concerns about some of the vaccines giving blood clots. Uh, so in countries like Denmark, where the, the government had bought a lot of different vaccines, so they had different options, uh, including the Pfizer, which doesn't have this problem. Uh, they have basically said, okay, we are not gonna uh, vaccinate with the AstraZeneca vaccine. Um, the same with the Don, Johnson & Johnson, I think it's called, also has been halted. So, for this reason, um, uh, the whole vaccination program has been postponed a bit in Denmark. Today, it's the, uh, the 5th, no, 16th of May. Um, and all of Denmark was supposed to be fully vaccinated by June, so by next month. And now that has been pushed to September, potentially even uh, further down the road, maybe December. Um, but because of this uh, uh, discovery of these blood clots, which is really a very small risk, uh, then there has been some vaccine hesitancy as well. Uh, both, I'm not sure about Denmark, but in Malaysia. Um, so, so what happened in Malaysia is, I think only about less than 10% of the population is vaccinated at this moment. But uh, they found that some people who had vaccine appointments, you're starting with the older people, right? They uh, would not show up for the vaccine. Uh, so there's definitely some vaccine skepticism. So therefore the Malaysian government decided to release, I think about three, three weeks ago, they released about a quarter million AstraZeneca vaccines. Uh, and it was a first come first serve basis, so it was released at noon. And if you're interested, you have to log in to the website and see if you could secure one of those vaccines. And these vaccines were snapped up like rock concert tickets. In about three hours, they were all taken. And I was one of the lucky ones to get uh, one of the 
appointment. It took about 20 minutes of trying because the uh, website was obviously very slow. There were so many people using it and you had to sort of keep trying and refreshing and the, the website was stalling, not giving a confirmation of the, of the appointment, but then finally it went through. So, so that's why I'm one of the lucky ones, one of the persistent ones. And I think, I mean, by right, it shouldn't be, it shouldn't be sort of relatively young people like me in, in the 40s, in the mid 40s getting the vaccines now. They really should be the older people. But releasing sort of a limited amount of vaccines and showing to the public that people are desperate to get it. I think it is a good move in the sense that it might help to uh, reduce this vaccine hesitancy. So that means those people, those hesitant people who didn't take the vaccine the first time, they're like, hmm, how come people are so eager to get the vaccine? Maybe I should get it too. So, so I hope we'll see this kind of effect. Uh, and actually, the Malaysian government is, I just learned yesterday, is doing something similar again this coming week. So I think they are going to release about a million vaccines. And unlike the first batch, which was only for people in the Kuala Lumpur area and the sort of Klang Valley, Greater Klang Valley, now it's for the whole nation. So, so that's, of course, much more fair. And uh, and I look forward to seeing uh, the eagerness, most likely, of people to get, get this vaccination, which can help to root out this vaccine hesitancy, which is actually one of the, probably the next biggest challenge to getting on the other side of this uh, COVID. Oh, this, left, this right turn has been canceled, I can see. There used to be a right turn here. Okay. <laughs> hey! Oh, I didn't see it was you. Yeah. How are you? Yeah, good. You're on good. camera. Oh, Hi. Say, say hi. I'm, I'm on my way to get the vaccine. Oh, where? At the World Trade Center. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So, you're just out for a casual yeah. ride? Yeah. Yeah. Great. You're very lucky to get the vaccine. Yeah. I've, I've registered it. Yeah, you have to keep refreshing the website, you know, uh, really? oh. because you, ha you need to get the confirmation. That's like a pop up message ah. saying congratulations. Oh. Uh, so, but you but you'll have another chance, you know, uh, this this coming week, they're releasing another million uh, vaccines. Yeah. This coming week, yeah. yeah, so just just stay tuned on the news. Yeah. I'll send you the link. Thank you. Yeah. I know it's you. <laughs> yeah, I didn't, I didn't notice. <laughs> nice uh, seat. <laughs> I'm um, shooting the future of urban transport right here. <laughs> you know, these kind of seats are very common in, uh, in Denmark. Yeah, we always transport our kids around this way. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's great to see it. Uh, I mean, see the, these kind of seats coming in Malaysia as well. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but um, you're just out uh, for a casual ride? Yeah? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'm, I'm shooting a video right now. I'm gonna upload this one that I'm going to get the vaccine. Okay. So, so I was not really paying attention to who I was passing. So, okay, I'll I'll see you guys later. Yeah, bye. bye. Stay safe. <clears throat> so that was Elena uh, and her husband, and they are some of the. Uh, 
bicycle advocates and also having a business with bicycling because they are taking people for tours. Uh, so, so yeah, and it's great to see that they are taking their young daughter along for a ride. That's, uh, I mean, when you see ordinary people bringing their babies into traffic with a bicycle, that, that means that you have reached a real bicycle uh, safe status, I would say. So of course, these, these guys are bicycle enthusiasts, so I wouldn't call them ordinary people as such. But as I mentioned to them just now, the, uh, these kind of child seats uh, are becoming a fairly common sight in the, in the later uh, common sight meeting. I maybe see, see it once or twice a week. So. on the whole vaccine story I can't even remember but anyway as they were also saying just now I was lucky to get the vaccine and this is I think a made mentality among many people so so if we get that news spread out to the whole population then hopefully we can get everyone vaccinated because if people refuse to get vaccinated then yeah. Oh, on the other side. Yeah, so yesterday they did not. They opened here. Ah. A lot of people. Ah. So they put the army there to stand by. Okay. So. So I go around and enter from. Yes, because I'm an entrance. Okay, that's good. Side. Sorry, yeah. No problem. Thanks yeah, for telling me. Yeah, you too. <clears throat> okay. That was very kind of him. <clears throat> Speaker. Sure sign that we are at a mass vaccination event. Vaccination? Vaccination, what time? Uh, at uh, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock? Yeah. What station? Let me check. We have a free station. Free station, uh, huh? Okay. You said your Masjatra. It is. Let's see. Station 2. Station 2, the center of this. Center of this? Yes. So I can bypass you this queue or? Put your, your bicycle I over can, there. I can fold it, yeah. No, 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 just put over there. Okay, ah. but where, where do I enter? A lot of police over there, don't worry. Okay. <laughs> Take your time. All right. <laughs> Dua, station Dua. Station Dua, Papa? Uh, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Thank you. 
Station 2, Station 2, Station 2, Station 2, Station 2, Station 2? Do. 10 o'clock? Okay. Thank you. Station 1 and Station 2. 10 and 30. Sepuluh, it's 10 o'clock, right? Yeah. Okay. Go, go, go. Okay, go, go. yeah, sorry, my Malay is not so good. <laughs> okay, 10 o'clock. Yeah. I thought I thought parking would be quite a uh, tough. Yeah. yeah. Well, you need to get some exercise. Yeah, exactly. I think it's good to get the, the blood circulating. As long as your blood pressure doesn't go too high. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. We'll see. Yeah, right. 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, yeah. Yourself? 10.30. Good luck. Okay, so I go first. Yep. May the jet be with you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>
let's see. Uh, home. Sorry. Next nation, yeah. Station Tokyo. Thank you. Okay, so that works really well, very efficiently. They have really uh, made sure there's a big area here for people to queue up. Thank you. Yeah, 10 o'clock. Thank you. continue when I get to the vaccination itself. say that you should get vaccinated oh, okay. <laughs> don't, like don't be afraid <laughs> I don't think I'm afraid I think you're afraid right now uh, no not at all <laughs> so how long have you been here uh, I've been here for 16 years 16 years yeah second second yeah only that's all okay because the uh, we are almost done zero point five me for Astra Vedika <laughs> yeah, my problem is I uh, everyone everyone speaks English so well. Okay, you so press first. I press first. Okay. Uh, yeah. Thank you. So, so, what do you like about Malaysia? Oh, I like uh, people are very friendly. Okay. Uh, this normal because they are very friendly. <laughs> well, it's not not the case in all countries. Okay, oh, but food. And then the uh, the, yeah. the food food is really delicious, much better than Danish food. Do you like roti canai? Uh, roti canai, yeah, but, but oh, nasi lemak. Nasi lemak, yeah. <laughs> okay. I, I had nasi lemak yesterday. Oh, uh, how about today? Okay. <laughs> today I have not not eaten yet. Okay, okay open up your message at apps. Okay. No sure. All done already. All right. Great. Have a nice day. <laughs> yes. Drink a lot of water. Thank you very much. And uh, happy Hari Raya. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi. All right, so vaccination done. And I was actually planning on taking a taxi or grab back uh, if I felt dizzy or something like that. But I don't feel any side effects except for a little bit of pain in my arm. So I will just cycle home. Uh, that should be perfectly fine. So yeah, quite a lot of promotion here at the World Trade Center. And a lot of people. It has started raining as well. Police here. So I would say that was a very positive experience. A uh, very smooth, professional, very organized, very easy to get the vaccination. Um, so basically you do the, the app, you get an appointment. have these sort of three parallel tracks where you go through they check that your appointment is at the right time they check
that. Uh, I think it took an, about an hour later, that's when I had the vaccination in my arm, the AstraZeneca. Um, and this, and they also, prior to that, of course, a doctor explains uh, whether you are aware that there are some risks and what some of the side effects are. Uh, also, they explained a little bit about these blood cloths, which was the issue that uh, made some European countries uh, discontinue the use of AstraZeneca because they had some better choices. Um, so basically, if you get some of these symptoms, like swelling of the limbs and this kind of thing, you would you basically seek uh, medical advice from the doctor. Uh, and so you also sign that form. The doctor will personally sit down with you and explain these things. Uh, so that was quite good, I think. Um, giving you that level of confidence uh, that is taken seriously. And then you are held in the vaccination center for about half an hour maybe or 20, 25 minutes. Again with a doctor symptoms before you are uh, let on to go back home. And then they give you explain that uh, how you will be contacted for the next dose of the vaccination. So once again, uh, via the app. Uh, so, yeah, I was very, uh, I was very impressed and uh, delighted to see how professionally this was done. Drizzle. Okay, they don't seem to care about the red light. I think it's moving for pedestrians. There's no pedestrians. Uh, also, just roll across.
tell people is in life, if you don't want to take the vaccine, you insist on just walking around and maybe not wearing a mask. It's a bit like being a drunk driving. So uh, maybe you will not die from it. But you might kill others. And that's why they will might kill yourself as well, of course. But it's just in drunk driving is not acceptable for these reasons. Because you are posing an unnecessary risk to yourself and to others. So it's a bit the same with the vaccine. If you get it, your health will reduce that risk. And if you refuse to get it, it's a bit like being a drunk driver, I'd say. You are really putting not just yourself, but others in an unnecessary risk of dying or, or uh, getting all these complications. COVID disease and some of them can be long term very serious so so just think of it just compare it to drunk driving and then see if you can come up with some good excuses not to get the vaccine of course some people really have a weakened immune system or other conditions that means they for medical reasons should not be taking the vaccine. But as long as 75 or 80% of the population gets the vaccine, the higher the better. Then we can spread the, uh, maybe stop the, basically stop the spread of COVID-19. So, and this AstraZeneca vaccine I took today is uh, not a hundred percent foolproof that you won't get COVID. So they claim themselves that the uh, I think it's 76 percent uh, chance that you will not get COVID. Uh, I mean, with, get sick with COVID-like symptoms. So only a uh, only quite good. 76% uh, reduction of getting COVID. Uh, but even more importantly, there's a 100% chance you will die from COVID once you have that vaccine, that is the Seneca vaccine. So, sure, you might still get sick. You'll get a as this about a 25% chance you will still get COVID, but it will be a mild version of COVID, and uh, you can be pretty sure you won't die from it. So yeah, so I really think with those facts, uh, you if, yeah you really should go and get the vaccine. My 10 cents worth. And uh, most important thing is to inform yourself. Uh, not just from Facebook, but well, there's no curation of uh, news. But get it from the official uh, health information in whatever country you are in. And uh, make up your mind based on, on facts. Okay, have a good day. Bye.